Today we're going to build an affiliate marketing website. And this is perfect if you're wanting to make a little bit extra money on the side or if you're wanting to replace your current job. In this three part series, I'll show you how to install and set up your WordPress website. And then Chris will walk you through how to quickly create a high converting affiliate theme easily using Seedprod's drag and drop theme builder. And then Tim will show you how to convert and monetize your website traffic using OptiMonster. So if you're ready, let's dive in. And really quickly, the steps that we're going to take in my part will be setting up the hosting. You need to host your files and your website somewhere on a server. And that's where hosting companies come in. They rent out parts of their server. Then you need to register a domain name. This is what your site will be called. And then we want to install WordPress. WordPress is powered by over 43% of the websites out there. And then we're going to add some plugins and plugins are like little apps on your site that help your site do things like a contact form, or you can do even more like an e-commerce site if you're wanting to set up e-commerce further on down the road. And today we'll be using Bluehost. This is the hosting provider that we recommend for many reasons. They have great customer support. They are recommended by wordpress.org and WP beginner users. You get a great offer and a discount with that. Plus, you also get a free domain name. So let's walk through that process. To get that discount, just go to www.wpbeginner.com forward slash refer forward slash Bluehost. And you'll get the best discount on getting Bluehost for your site. And once you're here, you'll see this page where you want to scroll down and you'll want to click on the big green button to get started now. From here, you want to pick the plan that you want to use. And we'll just cover this real quick. First off, you see that you have your basic, that's 275 a month. You have your plus and you have your choice plus. Now the basic is great for many people, but I just want to point out one thing that for me, it usually changes my decision is the number of websites that are involved. With the basic, you get one and one only. So when I started doing this, I always knew that if I had one idea, I probably would have another idea. And I just like the idea personally, of having unlimited website availability. So if I want to start up a new website, then I can do that. But that's the only one that I want to showcase. And then for this, we'll just select the basic to move on. From here, you want to choose the domain name that you want to use, and then you can click next. If it's available, then you'll get one big green button saying that it is available for you. And if not, then they'll give you some other ideas to choose from. And then scrolling down, you want to fill out all this information. And I just quickly want to go over the package information. So you see from here, you have the basic or the 36 month price. You can choose which one you want to go with. And you see this is showing the primary domain registration is free as well as the SSL certificate that is free. Also, some of the package extras, you can uncheck these. Many of these items you can do later or you can use plugins to do this as well. So when I do that and then you scroll all the way down, you see our total savings is 72% off and the total amount for a whole year worth of having a website is just $33 at the time of this recording. So fill out all this information and then agree to their terms and then click submit and then we can move on to the next step. Next, we want to create our password and this is what we'll use to log into our website. You want to make sure that you keep a copy of this somewhere so you'll know how to log in. And once we set up the password, we say that we've read and agreed to the terms. And then this is where it's going to ask you if you want to have a theme. We can skip this step because we'll show you how to do that in during this tutorial series. Great, now that's all done, we can click start building so we can start working on our website. Once we log into the site, this is what the back of it looks like. And we wanna clean some things up because we just wanna start from a kind of a clean slate. We might reinstall some plugins, but for now we're just gonna remove everything so we can start from scratch. So what we want to do is head over to our plugins area, click on plugins. And from here, we want to scroll all the way down until we start to see all of the plugins. And from here, we want to click on all of the plugins and click deactivate and click apply. Once we deactivate all the plugins, now we have to also remove them. So we're going to click on all of the plugins and we're going to click delete and click apply. And then that will go through and remove all these plugins. And like I said, we'll add some other other plugins later, but for now we're just going to start with a clean slate so we can move on. Okay, now we can start building it, but really quickly I want to show you that this is what it looks like in action right now. It's just a simple coming soon page on the front end. But if you notice up here, it says not secure. And that's 
because we don't have a, an SSL certificate installed on there. Making sure that your site has an SSL certificate installed and activated does a couple of things. Of course, it is more secure for your readers or the people who come to your website. It's also a slight ranking factor with Google because it tells Google that you are a secure site. In the past, you used to have to pay like 60 to $150 to get a secure certificate installed on your site. But nowadays, companies like Let's Encrypt have made this process super easy with our hosting providers like Bluehost. What you can do is go back into your dashboard, go down to security, and then you can ask for a Let's Encrypt certificate. It might take a little bit of time for them to set that up, but once they do, then we can go in and set it up for ourselves. Once you go there, you can request a certificate and you'll see that it is pending and that they're working on it. As you can see, it can take a little bit of time for them to get that set up. Once that is done and set up, the next thing we can do is go to our WordPress dashboard. You'll want to log in with the credentials that you saved before. From our dashboard, go over to plugins, add new, and we can type in SSL. What we're looking for is this plugin and it's called really simple SSL. What we want to do is we want to install that and then we also want to activate it. From here, you see some detections. We can see that it's not enabled, but the SSL certificate is detected on our site. So we can go ahead and activate the SSL. Great. Now that it's activated, you see up here, we have HTTPS and everything is active. And we also have the little padlock connected. All right, now that we've set everything up, we've installed WordPress, we've created a secure socket layer or installed the SSL certificate. This is what our site looks like, but don't worry, Chris will walk you through how to design the perfect affiliate marketing website. But before I pass it over to him, I want to do one more thing. I think it's always important to know exactly how your traffic is doing. Where is it coming from? What pages are they looking at and things like that? The best way to do that is by installing analytics on your website. So let me walk you through how to install analytics on your website. We're going to be using Google Analytics and that is a free service that shows you exactly how your website is. And then we will install a plugin so I can walk you through how to install a plugin using Monster Insights. And what Monster Insights does, it automatically will connect your site with Google Analytics and then it'll bring all that data into your WordPress website. The first thing you want to do is install Google Analytics or create a Google Analytics account. To do that, you can just search for Google Analytics and you're looking for something like analytics.google.com. When you click on that, then it'll ask you to sign in with a Gmail account. So you'll want to either create one or sign in with one. From here, you'll want to create an account if you've never set up Google Analytics. An account is basically an area where then you can create multiple properties. And the properties are things like all of your websites. So you want to give it a name. It's usually your business name or maybe the primary account or primary website. Scrolling down, you can choose whether or not to do account data sharing and keep the settings. We'll just keep that and click next. From here, this is where you want to set up the property details. And in this instance, property is your website. So you want to give it your name, give the location where you live, and under advanced properties, we want to expand advanced, advanced properties because we want to also create a universal property. So let's select that. And from here, the website URL address, you can toggle this, meaning you can do either HTTP or HTTPS. The HTTPS is secure socket layer or that you have a security certificate installed and most websites do. So for me, I'll use that one. Type in your web address. And now this next one is important. You want to create both a Google Analytics for and a universal analytics property. Google Analytics is moving in a new direction and Google Analytics for is the prominent way. However, many of us still use the universal analytics property so that we have the historical data. And so you'll want to have both of those. Let's come down here and click next. And now you can just give it a little bit of information about your business. And this is just helpful in letting you know if you're hitting certain benchmarks in your industry. So you can pick the one that works best for you, or you can also choose other, give it a business size and just how do you measure items? And then we can create. And now once you go through and read the analytics terms of service, so you'll want to do that. 
once you do that, you can accept it. Okay, now that we have this installed, we're going to keep this up and we're going to open up a new window to go back to our WordPress dashboard so we can install a plugin. We're going to go to plugins, add new, and the plugin we're going to install is Monster Insights. With Monster Insights, you can connect your website with Google Analytics. The free version is what we will be installing, but you can also choose their pro version if you want. And this will give you a few more features, including e-commerce tracking and several other things. This is the one we're looking for. Let's go ahead and click install now. Make sure you stick around to activate the plugin as well. Once it's activated, you'll see a wizard pop up and this will give you, ask you a few questions to give you the best Set up for your website. We'll use a publisher or a blog style and we'll connect our Monster Insights to our Google Analytics account. It'll ask you to sign in and ask you some permissions. We'll go ahead and allow that. And then from here, we want to pick the analytics that we're wanting to set up. If you have multiple properties, you'll see this in a setup. If you only have your one because you just started, then you'll just see the one and complete connection. Now it's going to follow, finalize the authentication and then it'll bring us back to more of the wizard. It'll automatically set up some recommended setups like events tracking. So this will, if you click over here, you can see any kind of click that's on your site, any outbound links. If you have a local website and you have people do a click to call, it'll show you that as well as mail links and so much more. That's a great event tracking to automatically set up. And it has a couple of other things. If you are into file, if you have any file downloads, these are the downloads that it will track for that. If you have any affiliate links set up or that you're going to set them up, you can set that up here. Really cool information. And then you can choose to automatically install the updates and help us improve. We'll just say yes to both of those. And so then Monster Insights will automatically update every time. These are the recommended add-ons. If you want to upgrade to the full version, we're just gonna say save and continue. And now we're all set up so we can finish and exit the wizard. Great, now that that's set up, there's one more item that we need to do. We have set up our universal tracking and because we want to set it up for future, remember future you is going to thank you right now. We wanna set up dual tracking. So we wanna go back and we're looking for this dual tracking that starts with a G and this will be for future. So let's go back to the analytics platform where we were and this is the G code that we want to copy. So let's go ahead and copy this. Go back to our dashboard. We'll add that bit of code. We'll come up here and click save changes. Now by and large, you'll want to wait about 24 hours if you're getting traffic to your website before you can start seeing any data. But once you do, you can come over to reports and from here you will start seeing the reports come up. The other cool thing about Monster Insights is it brings all of your data from Google Analytics right into your dashboard. So if you go to reports after it has been tracking everything for a while, then this is what you'll see. You'll see your sessions, your page views, your bounce rate, average view duration or average session duration. You can see device breakdown. You can also see returning visitors, top countries, top refers, and so much more. It's a really cool feature to have that set up. Now that we have all the nuts and bolts set up for this site, it's ready to change it from looking like this to something more like an affiliate marketing website. So watch this video next. This is Chris from Seedpride will walk you through step-by-step -step on how to create a high converting affiliate marketing website using Seedprod. And thanks for watching.